Hello everybody, it's Loretta with Sparrowhawker Designs. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's having a lovely day. I thought I would just come on and show you block number 18 in my travel theme crazy quilt. So I'm doing 24 blocks, so that means I have six more to go. I was hoping to get it done by the end of the year, but I don't think I'm going to. I've got quite a few other things going on. So anyway, um, so I will just start down here in the corner, work my way around, and then I'll zoom in and let you see uh, the stuff a little more closely. So, um, down here in this corner on this uh, piece of satin, I have an applique from a wedding, a uh, piece of wedding fabric. I think it was actually a fabric he used for the veil, I think. Um, and I just sprayed it with, I think it was some Tim Holtz. I don't know. It's whatever it is. It's shimmery. <laughs> and then here um, I have a combination of stitches. I started with a feather stitch and then I added some lazy daisies and then I also just added, um, I guess, just some straight lines. I don't know <laughs> what you'd call them. Um, like a boro stitch, I guess. But anyway, and then there's some uh, sequins with some blue size 8 seed beads in there. And then there's some little 11 seed beads also all in there. Uh, here, this is a piece of trim that goes all the way up, and I just covered it with, uh, well, the kitchen sink, it looks like, but <laughs> some little metal pieces with some seed beads, some little flower beads, some per uh, they're not real pearls, but some pearls, um, and then uh, these little tiny yo-yos, I mean, they're little, I mean, little bitty, bitty, bitty ones, and I, I absolutely love them, I just thought they were so cute, um, also known as Suffolk Puffs. And then uh, a few buttons. I put in some uh, black buttons because I really wanted to bring out like the black in her hat. It was the only part on the whole block that was um, dark, so I thought I would throw in those black buttons. It's a Harrison Fisher print. Uh, this applique is from Roseanne. She sent me in our swap. Um, these flowers came from a long piece of trim that I got off a freebie table at a... At a um, retreat <laughs> and they were white and I you know me and white <laughs> I only like little bits of white so I um, tea dyed them uh, this particular piece of trim is from that Belgian uh, lace dealer that I encountered at the Houston quilt market last year and there's some sequins and some beads in there up here I have a Cretan stitch with a lazy daisy and some more sequins and some more seed beads. Um, over here I did like a, a, a vine with leaves and some little tiny 15 seed beads in gold and then some some of the flower beads uh, I put on this bird. Also kind of dark to you know so that this wouldn't be too heavy over here. Um, here I have a buttonhole stitch with tiny 15 seed beads in gold with some sequins. This is a variation on a buttonhole stitch. Um, this piece of trim is new, actually. This came from, I think that came from Hobby Lobby. Uh, this piece of trim is a little bit older. It was just in my stash. I honestly don't know where it came from. <laughs> I made this bow uh, to kind of resemble like the bow here on her hat. And, um, and then, uh, this was a yo-yo that came in a bunch of stuff from another crazy quilter and this very old button I stuck in there. Um, I think the only other, this, so this fabric down here is a little more, um, it's a little more on the purple side of pink. It's a little more magenta. So, uh, so I tried to, you know, pull that in with like this and these um, beads up here, you know, just to try to, but it was just such a gorgeous piece of fabric. And I know a lot of crazy quilters, this is the thing about crazy quilting, you can do whatever you want. There's no right and there's no wrong. Um, you will, you will come across people who will be sticklers and tell you, oh, you have to do this in order for it to be a real crazy quilt, but, uh, you know, <laughs> that's not me. So, I don't cover all of my surfaces. You will find crazy quilts literally where every spare, uh, 
you know, centimeter, millimeter is covered in stitching. Um, and I, I don't do that because um, part of the reason, like with this quilt especially, I have not um, done as many as much stitching on this particular quilt as I have on a lot of my other projects because part of it is I really want the gorgeous laces and these gorgeous fabrics to be able to be seen. You know, if you cover them completely, then um, then you really could have just used any fabric, <laughs> you know. So you, if you want to showcase some of your fabrics, then you have to uh, let up a little bit on the embellishments and the stitching. So that's what I chose to do with this with this particular quilt. Um, some of my quilts I have d definitely done more stitching with them. So I will pull this in a little bit, and maybe you can get a better view of these little tiny. These were. I'm trying to think how big those actually are. I have something to measure here. <laughs> um, after they've been sewn, they are half an inch. <laughs> so those are a half an inch wide little yo-yo yo-yos, which I just thought were so gosh darn cute. Oh. And you know, it took patience to sew them. <laughs> That's for sure. I don't know if you can see all the beads. You know, the, that's the thing about some of these tiny little sea beads is that they're hard to see. The camera doesn't really pick them up. The other thing, too, with this particular quilt is um, I was super, super excited about all of my focal pieces that I also really wanted to just kind of draw attention to them and not to everything else. Um, so that's kind of what I've been doing, I'm hoping. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know if you can see the little beads that are in there or not. And I love this button. I've used, uh, I had a couple of them and I've used them on other projects too. And there's another beautiful satin back here, kind of a, um, a beigey pink. It's just really pretty. And the bow. So there you go. That is block number 18. Whoops. And um, the next block is this one, block number 19. So join me next time to see this all blinged up like this one is. <laughs> this one's going to be a challenge because the image is pretty small and I have all of this fabric to decorate. So this one, this one's going to be a challenge. Um, the other thing too that I, that you have to keep in mind when you're doing these, I, um, like there's, uh, this, all this unadorned fabric down here and up here and here is that you are going to sew these together and when you sew them together first of all you're going to lose some of it so it's going to not be quite as big a piece of fabrics so you're going to lose some of it um, and the other thing is is that once they're joined together then you can go back so you're going to this might be butting up next to another very busy piece of fabric so you you know you don't know and then you'll go back through and you will decorate those seams as well so sewing it together is not the end <laughs> i still have to go through then and um and decorate where they join so so that's another reason why I tend to really decorate quite a bit in the middle and leave the edges a little more um, a little more bare because I don't know what I'm gonna what they're gonna be going up next against you know uh, up against see like you know this is going to you know so this is gonna get decorated so I don't want to decorate too much on the edges of the block um, because I'm going to join them and I will decorate that area then. So anyway, all right guys, I'm, I'm excited. I, I have six blocks to go. I can't hardly believe that I'm actually, you know, this close to finishing. Um, 
So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. Um, and if you are so inclined, please leave me a comment. And um, yeah, until next time, I hope you make something that you love. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.